That was fun. I'm not going to lie to you. And the reason why you saw a time lapse first is simply because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I'm not going to sit here and try to explain this to you uh, when I don't even know myself. So <clears throat> overall, I guess it's pretty easy to do, but you really have to pay attention to these corners right here. You have to apply heat. There's just no way around it. Unless, of course, you know, your car has been in storage for all of its life because these are very crispy around the edge but as soon as you apply some heat to it it's just as soft and pliable as you would ever need it to be so uh, that's probably the one tip that i can give you on this and second tip would just be take your time now these right here got me i almost ripped everything apart because i was unaware of these staples right here and as you can see here's where these staples are so they're actually in behind this piece right here what I'm going to do is come in and bend all these staples back. All right, other than that, uh, just be careful around all your little edges of fabric right here. I'll try my best to talk you guys through the next process, but it's going to take so long to do. Uh, there again, I may just touch on the, the high points. All right, guys, see you in a few. Let's go ahead and get started on door panel number two. I have the other door panel over there. I'm not going to show it to you just yet because, damn, it looks pretty good, guys. I don't want to spoil it for you. Well, here's your before, so we'll go ahead and use this. I'll probably screenshot it later for you guys. So what do you got to do? Well, first off, you got to get your door panel out and flip it over. And you can see right here, I mean, this thing has had it. Everything's rotted, right? So this is probably going to be the majority of you guys. Now, I want to go ahead and warn you ahead of time. You have to be very, very careful here. This stuff is brittle, and I'm going to try to prove it to you. sounds like plastic right well it's supposed to be you know vinyl that we're all familiar with first off what you got to do is take out all of your staples there are many different ways of doing it i like to use like a little hook tool and come in like this and just take them out i'm not going back with staples i'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys that ahead of time because i don't have anything small enough that will go through and stick into this new board. So then what we're gonna do is come up here and get these staples out across the top. So let me sit you guys down real quick and I'll show you how I do that. So you just wanna get your screwdriver right under the staple. There you go. And obviously don't worry about damaging this piece because we're gonna be replacing it. You would just wanna discard that piece of trash so under here is going to be glue so you want to heat everything up before you start trying to pull this off if there's one major tip i can give you that is use a heat gun and take your time you have to have at least a hair dryer on this thing if you start trying to pull this off chances are you're going to break this i mean break the vinyl i don't mean tear it it's just going to break and i'll go ahead and show you guys uh right now because i will forget you're going to need you know, something along the size of these rivets. Don't get steel rivets. Get aluminum. They're a little softer. Steel rivets will just be too much. So just get some aluminum rivets like that, whatever size you like. They just need to kind of be at least that long, which I think is a quarter inch long. And you just want to heat this vinyl until it's soft. And as you can see, this will come right off, but you have to heat it. Okay, well, that come off easy. Don't expect the rest of it to come off that easy. It's just not going to, uh, like I said, it's going to be a process. Also, be very careful where this is like uh, crimped together with a black vinyl and the gray vinyl meat because it will come apart on you. So just be mindful. I mean, you can, guys, you can just see this stuff is, it's on its way out, but we're going to be able to save it. It's just going to take a little bit of time. So all I'm going to do now is go around, take out all these little staples, and I'll get back to you guys after that, and we'll talk about a few key things that you need to know about. All right, guys, so I have all of this off now. So all the vinyl is done. All I did was heat it up with a heat gun, like I told you, and pull it off. So you just want to get your edges started first. Next up, though, and these were actually really hard to find. I did not know what was holding this. If you look right here, there are staples in the back of this board. They're in line right here. So they go all the way down like this. Those staples are underneath this uh, ridge right here. Now, I don't know for every year model if this is the case. This is an 89 model, and that's where they're at. Come in and pick the edges of it like this. 
and bend them up straight. You have to get these things up because if you don't, it's going to tear the vinyl on the outside of the uh, door panel. And once you do that, I mean, all this will be for nothing. Next up is going to be these tabs right here. If you got man fingernails, you can just do that. Everybody always picks at me about my fingernails, but you know what? I can do shit like this. God gave you fingernails to use, guys. Don't cut them off. So now you can just kind of come in. Now you have to be careful still. You can't just rip this thing up because sometimes those little tabs stick in behind. And like right here, we actually have a staple. We didn't have that in the other one, so let me pull that out. It should come up. So there's your outer piece right here, and there's no issue with that. Don't worry about it. Mine's in good shape. We're just going to clean it up with a little bit of mean green and some water, and we'll be good. I'm going to go in, get all these out, and we'll start pulling backing off this thing. And there's some stuff under here that you're going to need to know about. So I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. From here, all you're going to want to do is just kind of get in here and start separating the vinyl from the cardboard. I keep saying cardboard. It's not, it's not really cardboard. It's like a press board. And this... This right here is where, like I said, you got to be careful. So just come in from this side and just slowly work this back. Like I said, everything just takes time when you're doing this. You, you can't really be in a rush because if you rip this, it's game over. And I know a lot of you are already like, oh, hell no, I'm not doing this. I didn't know there was that much work involved in it. Uh, it is a lot of work, but you know what? It's not hard, and if you've got a day, you can just set aside... Um, you know what, instead of spending 300 and something bucks on door panels, on new door panels, you can just do this. Everything I do in my garage, you can do too. I'm just a normal dude. Speaking of which, uh, House Adula, I, you know, watched him do this, and I just kind of skimmed over, got some ideas from him, and uh, said, you know what, I can do this. So I got out here and do it. So, of course, uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to House Adula and G Funk Express, and a couple of other guys out there. I'm just off the top of my head though. G-Funk did uh, one of these too, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so, you know, just, just check all these guys out. You know, I mean, I learn from them just like you do too. So, like I told you, I'm human. I don't know everything. I'm not a Fox Body guru. We all live and learn every day. What I'm doing now is just coming in and separating the vinyl from the backing even more. Very easy. Look at that, guys. We're almost there. Okay. Now, on the back, you also have some staples here that you're going to have to pull out. Also, guys, these videos take a long time to make. Uh, you know I never ask you to subscribe. I never ask you to like share all that stuff but tonight i will ask you to share this video if you liked it because videos like this typically don't get a lot of views and it just sucks to have to go through all that trouble of making these videos and you know people don't get to see them so it kind of sucks all right next up we're almost done guys we're almost done with this with the disassembly so next up what i'm going to do is come in here and i'm just going to cut this right here so I'm just gonna cut this off to separate it because it's, it's not wanting to pull apart and we should be almost done here yep okay Let's lay that down there for now okay so this is what we're left with right here as you can see all that damage down there over time it gets fun from here <laughs> this is uh this was my first issue that i run across not knowing how to put this board back on because as you can see here uh ford did like a factory almost like a uh, brad job on these things where the uh, little tabs kind of come up right here and grabbed onto this now this is where house of doula helped me out because i was like i don't know how the hell i'm going to do this and uh simple I'm just going to put rivets back in it. I think he tried it, and uh, he, it worked out pretty good for him. So we're just going to come in every so often, probably here, here, 
here, here, and here. It, look, it, all this stuff will hold up just fine. It's all going to be bonded together uh, once it's all said and done. So, <clears throat> what do we got to do first to get this off? Well, just beat the <laughs> out of it, honestly. All you're gonna do now is come in and uh, literally just push this out. See, it just it just falls right out. So. You don't have to do this part, but we're gonna do it anyway, just cause it's fun. Right about now, you're probably thinking, mm -mm, "Not me. I'm not doing this." This looks like somebody skinned someone's face, and like that's what it looks like when you pull it off their body. I mean, but it's not bad. It's really not bad. So. Let's go ahead and get started with the next part. Now the next part is, well, it was aggravating to start with, but since I figured out how I want to do it, it's not so bad. So first off, you need to make sure you get your orientation right. You want to take your new board here and the side with all of the uh, little prongs sticking up, obviously is going to be the side that this cardboard goes back on. So if you look right here, it just butts up just like that, flush. And on the other end, it's going to do the same thing, right? There. There's one other thing we need to do. Just lay this up on a board and hammer these things flat. That way the uh, board will lay up there good. I will go ahead and tell you this. This cutout right here uh, is for this. Now I like to go ahead and pop all of these out. Just to go ahead and get it out of the way. I'm going to spare you that because it literally is boring. Got all the holes punched out in this thing and we are ready to move on to the next step, which is like I told you guys, lining everything up on the ends here and uh, clamp everything down. You wanna make sure that you clamp it down. There's a little lip right there and all you want is that board to line up with the edge right there. That's it. All the way across, same thing on this side and yeah, it looks pretty good. And from here, all we're going to do is come in with our drill and drill some holes, guys. Now, I'm going to try this a little differently. Last time, I put the rivets in from the other side just because typically that backing doesn't hold the back side of the rivet very good. But we're going to try it this way this time just to see. I got some pretty good engagement right there so yeah I think we're gonna be all right okay I'm gonna go along put rivets in all of these little holes and secure this thing and we're gonna move on to the next step and there you go pretty sturdy now all that's left is to lay the vinyl all right we have our old vinyl here and we're just going to lay it up there um, don't worry about trying to clean it or anything like that right now or at least for me it's easier just to do it this way and what you want to do is start trying to line up all of your holes like so just make sure everything is configured correctly meaning all the holes are where they're supposed to be and from there it looks pretty good don't worry if there's a little uh board showing right here or like down in here because uh you know, everything's gonna be covered. Let's go ahead and start kind of stretching. I'm just gonna set you guys up over here so I can better kind of show you. You literally have to take this and hook it in. So get one side started like this, and then just come in and make sure everything's hooked along the bottom. And like right here, I can go ahead and tell you, this is too tight. This side over here was not wanting to stretch. So. We have to come in and start heating. Now, not only do we need to heat the other side that I can't get to pull, but you really need to heat this side too so that all of this flexes and will slide that way. There's not much to explain to you, so I'm just gonna do a time lapse on that as I'm kind of stretching and putting everything. Just remember to use heat around the edges as you can and just really smooth this thing out as you go. We'll talk about that once we get everything stretched into place.
All right, here we are. It is back together again. Uh, everything lined up, eh, pretty good. Good enough uh, where all of the uh, holes are at least half a hole off or less. So as you recall, this uh, upper piece right here, which is your felt piece that cleans your window as it goes up and down, we had to take it off, right? Well, it had staples in it. Guys, we can't staple through this metal. So how are we gonna do that? Once again, rivets. So this is your piece right here, and we have to get this thing oriented correctly. Now it has a spot where it lines up. As you can see, there's a cutout in the metal right there, and this lines up there. Uh, basically what you want to do is keep this on the edge of the metal. So you want to kind of line it up to the edge like that. And that's pretty much where it needs to be. And up top, you can see it has your chrome piece on it. So uh, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and start doing this. I know this is not a good angle, but sorry guys, you're just going to have to trust me on this. Same rivets that we used earlier. Let's put it in through the top here. Make sure it's pushed down good. So now what you want to do is just work your way down. Uh, I think I'll put four in the last one, so I'll probably put one there, one there, and then one on the end. Now on the end, you do want to make sure that you pull this up tight. Don't worry. If you're over the edge here, don't worry about that. What, what you're worried about is make sure this thing does not have a gap right here. So you just want to make sure this is pulled up tight. And there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that portion up. And then we'll jump into the cleaning and dyeing process. All right, we are back and everything is buttoned up. So this thing looks really good. Uh, just make sure that you get all your little metal shards out of there because you don't want that to scratch your glass up or your window tint this is what we got guys uh, still looks pretty pretty bad right it's more straight so that's that's the whole purpose of the backing the backing obviously isn't going to change anything about this uh, other than make it more flat and trust me when i tell you it is a lot more flat there's a couple different ways you could have done this you can glue this on the back side i chose not to do that just in case i ever need to work on this panel again everything will literally come right off so this is a little fluffy or whatever you want to call it. I'm not too concerned about that. It's going to look good in the car. I just chose not to put anything on the backside. We can come in and steam this um, with the steamer right here if we need to and really flatten it out. But I think it's going to look really good. Anyway, on to dyeing. So how do we go about doing this? Well, for one thing, we need to start out by cleaning everything. This is what I use, guys. Just mean green or purple power or whatever you got. Just come in. Spray this down. It is a degreaser, so it'll work really good to get all the grease uh, out of everywhere. And then you can just take a red or a gray Scotch Bright, whatever the case may be, and literally just you know sand this thing. You can press pretty hard on this vinyl. You're not really going to take any texture out of it or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead clean all this up, and then we'll start the dyeing process. All right, guys. As you can see, I've got it taped off. Don't worry about taping it off way back up here because I mean, we're going to be spraying uh, gray over that anyway. So what are we using? That's satin black from SEM. Uh, this stuff matches the black interior of these cars really good. So light coats, as always. And this is not going to take much, guys. And this stuff dries up really quick. It's about 50 degrees right now outside. About 55 degrees or so. And this stuff dries like it's 120. It just dries so good. That's all we want to put on here is just a, a few little light coats like that. And uh, we'll let this thing dry up. And then we'll just come over here, tape this off, and then spray that. So all you want to do is just come in with light coats, guys. That's all that you want to do. Remember, we're just blending. We're not completely respraying anything. Uh, I just think this stuff looks better when you blend it. I don't know. When you try to completely, you know, change the color and paint, I just think it's noticeable. Doesn't look natural. All right, so what are we going to do about this ugly carpet? Well, we're going to dye it, guys.
You just want to make sure that you hit your carpet from a couple different angles and uh, you should you should be okay there. Now this darkens the carpet a little bit I've noticed, but that's fine. This panel is done. It's going to look great in the car and we will have no complaints I'm sure. Just make sure you hit your edges good and that's it guys. We are done. Now, you'll notice I didn't get up in here, and that's just because I'm trying to conserve paint right now. Uh, i got to go tomorrow and pick up some more. I've got a few more pieces I've got to do. That's a good-looking interior panel. So let's go ahead and untape everything. Remember, it's like I always say, don't overthink this stuff. It's not that complicated. So many people get inside their own head, and they think, man, this I can't do this. This is too tough. It's not. It's simple. Come on, guys. We put, like, two coats on this thing. And it looks good you get this in the car and it's gonna look money I took this piece off and cleaned it it needs to be cleaned a little bit more but we can do that on the car so that's not really an issue all right let me do this and then I'll get back with you guys and we'll look at the panel uh, all I did was just push the clips through the back bend them around but man this thing looks good it's crispy nice and crispy this is gonna make all the difference in the world I did go ahead and uh, put the new speaker grills on Let's flip everything over and look at what we've got Guys, we've got a nice, solid backing board now. So, Also, on any of these corners like this, don't sweat them. They're going to be tucked in behind the door. But you can always come in with a little extra spray glue in here. And uh, just kind of set something down on it. And trust me, it will stick. Uh, if not, it's all going to be back behind your door panel anyway. But guys, this is what we've got. And I think it looks really good. Uh, it's a hell of a process. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that there's nothing to it. It it sucks, but at the same time, it's not the hardest thing ever. And, and look what you're left with, a nice clean panel that you can put in your car and it's going to look good for, you know, 30 bucks essentially. You know what? You can go out and spend 300 bucks or you can do this, 300 plus bucks. You know, if you go out and buy these new door panels, you're still not going to get new armrest and you're not going to get some of this other stuff anyway. So basically, you're just paying for the freshened up die. Uh, I think it comes with these and this panel. If I'm being completely honest with you, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do this or not. Um, man, that's that's a lot of work. And, you know, I'm not an upholstery guy. So I can do some, some upholstery stuff, no doubt. But... You know, I have watched uh, House of Dula do some, and like I said, I think it was G-Funk uh, did some of that. So I was like, man, this is this sucks. But this is the key to it. You just wake up and you go outside and you do it. You just, you push through it. You find ways to be motivated. And you just almost have to be like a zombie through this whole process. You know, if, if you have something like that to do, just don't overthink it. Don't even think about it. Just get out there and do it. And before you know it, you, you, you tear into it and... You're kind of obligated then, and then you just have to kind of figure it out and go along with it. Don't do it on a day where you're pressured and you don't have a lot of time because it's going to take some time, but uh, it's definitely not the hardest thing you'll do. I promise you that. I'm proud of this, and uh, i tell you what, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this particular video up. I'll probably just like include some shots of the interior of the car um, once we start getting into the engine portion of this. So remember, guys, the heads are here. The cam is on the way. Uh, everything else is on the way. Should be here sometime this week. And by this weekend, we should get started on the car and uh, hopefully have that thing back on the road uh, by Monday. We will see, though. It may be a one-man show this weekend because I think Andrew's got to work, so it's going to be pretty tough. But I'll see if I can get it done either way. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it wasn't super detailed, but, hey, I'm a one-man show. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. And as always, thanks for watching.